Prince George and Princess Charlotte's head teacher has spoken out about the significant challenge of demanding parents. Thomas's principal Ben Thomas said increasing school fees are raising parents' expectations. He added the mantra I pay therefore I expect has emerged. Writing in an article for the book The State of Independence, Key Challenges Facing Private Schools, Mr. Thomas said, with school fees up by nearly 100 percent since 2003, parents' expectations are, not unreasonably, sky high. The days of the layback, hands-off, middle-class parents, if they ever existed, are long gone. I pay therefore I expect has become a mantra. The head teacher also warned pressure from parents over exams to get children into secondary schools can turn students into overanxious, overprepared young robots. Speaking to The Times, Mr. Thomas said, the independent sector is predicated on children taking high stakes exams. Parents are very aware how high stakes the exams are, it's not unusual for secondary schools to have one place for every 10 children applying. He added, I want to encourage children to find out the answers themselves, to figure out what questions to ask and to cope with failing. As computers are poised to take over many of our jobs, I want to equip pupils with the skills that make us uniquely human, rather than simply to be people who have spent their entire education being made to jump through hoops. George, 6, started at Thomas's Battersea in 2017 while Charlotte, 4, joined her older brother this year. Prince William and Kate stepped out together for Charlotte's first day earlier this month. It came after the Duchess of Cambridge was forced to miss George's starting school two years ago due to morning sickness when she was expecting Prince Louis. An insider previously told US magazine People that Charlotte was so excited to start. And George reportedly has lots of pals at the private school. A source told Vanity Fair, he's very popular and has lots of friends and there's very little fuss made about who he is. The source added that William and Kate are very friendly. On its website, Thomas's Battersea describes itself as a busy, thriving, purposeful school. It adds, whilst we are proud of our record of senior school entrance and scholarship successes, we place a greater emphasis on a set of core values, which include kindness, courtesy, confidence, humility and learning to be givers, not takers. We hope that our pupils will leave this school with a strong sense of social responsibility, set on a path to become net contributors to society and to flourish as conscientious and caring citizens of the world. The school is attended by 560 boys and girls between the ages of 4 and 13. Its most important rule is to be kind. Subjects taught include art, ballet, drama, ICT, French, music and pay. From September 2019, fees for children aged 4 to 7 are £6,429 per term for the eldest child. Thomas's has three other schools in Clapham, Fulham, and Kensington. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, is a dedicated member of the royal family and carries out official duties with exceptional grace. However, there have been times when the mum of three has bent the rules for the sake of her children. Kate and Prince William are parents to three royal youngsters. Earlier this month fans were delighted to see the devoted parents drop off their middle child Princess Charlotte, 4, for her first day of school. These are all the times the Duchess of Cambridge has bent the rules for her children over the years. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge welcomed their first son Prince George into the world on July 22, 2013, and it wasn't long before they bent royal protocol for the tiny tot. 1. Prince George in Plains The six-year-old prince has traveled a lot with his parents over the years but every time he gets on a plane with his father Prince William, he is breaking a royal custom. Royal protocol dictates that two heirs should never take a flight together. The custom stems from the time when air travel was a lot more dangerous than it is today and is meant to avoid the lineage crisis that would occur if two heirs were involved in a fatal plane crash. While it is expected the young prince will start to fly apart from his father when he reaches 12, his mum Kate has bent the rules for the tot so far and let him fly with his dad. Prince William and Kate are said to have sought the Queen's permission to bend this royal rule. 
George flew with William and Kate on their first official family trip to New Zealand in 2014, when he was just nine months old. Since then they have also flown together to Canada, Poland and Germany but George stayed home with his nanny when the Duke and Duchess traveled to New York in 2014. 2. Princess Eugenie's Royal Wedding Princess Eugenie's royal wedding was another occasion when Kate bent the rules for her offspring. Prince George and Prince Charlotte had key roles in the ceremony as part of the bridal party. They were pulled out of school especially for the occasion so they could carry out their roles as page boy and page girl instead. 3. The Royal International Air Tattoo In 2016, Prince George was treated to a very special privilege which breached what most tots would be allowed to do. The two-year-old prince was allowed to clamber up into the cockpit of one of the RAF aerobatic team's Red Arrow Hawks planes at the Royal International Air Tattoo. 4. Chelsea Flower Show This year Kate, Duchess of Cambridge helped designed a special wilderness garden for the Chelsea Flower Show. While the show's website stated we regret that we cannot allow under fives, prams, pushchairs or babes in arms at Chelsea, this rule was bent for the Cambridge clan. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and toddler Prince Louis were snapped enjoying a sneak peek of the wilderness garden with their parents the day before its official opening. Princess Charlotte joined brother Prince George at Thomas's Battersea Private Preparatory School in London, in September. It's an elite educational institution that not only now hosts two royals, but the children of privileged families who have high expectations of the establishment. Head teacher, principal. Ben Thomas has spoken out about the pressure being placed on the school and its students by some parents, saying increasing fees are raising expectations. He has written an article for the book The State of Independence, Key Challenges Facing Private Schools, saying the following mantra has emerged, I pay therefore I expect. With school fees up by nearly 100% since 2003, parents' expectations are, not unreasonably, sky high, he writes. The days of the layback, hands-off, middle-class parents, if they ever existed, are long gone. I pay therefore I expect has become a mantra. With his observations came a warning. He said pressure from parents over exams to get children into secondary schools can turn students into over-anxious, over-prepared young robots. He spoke to the Times about his concerns, saying the independent education is predicted on children taking high-stakes exams. Parents are very aware how high-stakes the exams are, it's not unusual for secondary schools to have one place for every 10 children applying, he said. Thomas said he wants children to be encouraged to find out answers for themselves. I want to encourage children to find out the answers themselves to figure out what questions to ask and to cope with failing, he said. Thomas went on to discuss technology and the resultant shrinking jobs market, saying he wants to equip pupils with the skills that make us uniquely human, rather than simply to be people who have spent their entire education being made to jump through hoops. Prince George began school at Thomas's Battersea in 2017 while Princess Charlotte followed suit on September 5. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined their daughter for her first day of school. The Duchess wasn't able to attend Prince George's first day due to sickness relating to the pregnancy of her third child, Prince Louis. Thomas's Battersea is attended by a total of 560 students between the ages of 4 and 13. From September 2019, fees for children aged 4 to 7 are £6,429, Australian dollars per term for the eldest child. The school teaches art, ballet, drama, information and communication technology, French, music and physical education. In addition to the London campus, the school also has locations in Clapham, Fulham, and Kensington.